Long before the era of the modern mountain bike, when buffalo roamed the range and men spit freely on tavern floors, humans reveled in the glory of sweet single track. Trails wove endlessly across the unsettled reaches of the freest nation on earth. The vehicle of choice, the 26-inch mini donkey. This nimble beast was coveted by pioneers, the truest and earliest of single track thrill seekers. Over time, innovations in breeding progressed. The result, a much rangier beast, the 29-hand Clydesdale. Touted as having superior efficiency in a plushier ride, it brought the once beloved mini donkey to the brink of extinction. Yet technology progressed. Trails became roads, engines replaced muscles. Unwanted, the last remaining mini donkeys and 29-hand Clydesdales were sold to the glue factories and a chapter was closed. Single track was dead. An entire population of riders had lost their stoke. They were unfit for society and committed to treatment centers across the country. It was a sad day. However, in 1968, Dr. Dusty Luceburn, a humanitarian and amateur documentarian, began studying their cases. Until one day, he made a critical revolutionary discovery regarding their lack of adrenaline, solitude, and beautiful narrow trails. Unfortunately, he died tragically later that week in a laundry facility fire, leaving behind only a son, his work unfinished. He would be succeeded by a team of hotshot nurses and crackpot doctors, intent on curing their patients within the confines of the facility. Despite the invention of the mountain bike, the problem worsened. The renewed potency of single track addiction spawned a new generation of patients. Yet with the rising popularity of urban living, significant others, newborns, and office cubicles, the disease mutated once again, and patients were admitted by the thousands. It seemed that no hope existed. That was until one spring day when one free-thinking doctor, a Dr. Louis Luceburn, would pick up the clipboard and carry on his father's work. His discovery would counter all scientific data to date. A deficiency was to blame. A single track deficiency. An STDD. A single track deficit disorder. Is your life a treatment facility? Do you need 400 plus miles of sweet single track? Win an all-expense-paid trip to Sun Valley this summer. We will send you and your friend of choice here on a real jet airplane. Rest your heads on a fancy pillow. Slide Shimano decked out Scott bikes under your hindquarters. Stoke you out head to toe with gear from Scott, Smith Optics, Decon, Club Ride. So go now to www.visitsunvalley.com slash remedy and cure your STDD.